his father? Still unconscious. I don't know what's wrong with him. I see no head wounds, no internal injuries. Yet he won't wake up. Hi, Wizard Elaine. There's something you need to know. What do you mean? The orc stabbed Lord Roderick with some sort of strange red stone. Whatever it was, it just dissolved into his body. And you're telling me this now? I'm sorry, Claire. I should have told you earlier, but there was so much happening. I don't want to hear it. Helen, have you ever heard of a stone like that? I'm afraid not. I thought Lord Roderick was simply wounded in battle. If it's something more sinister, I should take another look. Apologies for the interruption, but I bring grave news. Some of the demons we sighted in the underground waterway have split off and are now headed for Iron Guard. Another attack, and demons this time. Enemies on two fronts. We can't let Iron Guard become a battlefield again. Clara! I'll take one side, you take the other. Very well. Helen, please take care of Father. Of course. And while you're gone, I'll see what I can learn about that red stone. Oh, and one more thing. If you see something with tentacles in the underground waterway, just run. I'll keep that in mind. Let's go. Stay away. What's this? It reminds me of the stone Lord Roderick was stabbed with. Helene should see this. 